let's take a look at the add-on called Grid Breaker. Alright guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing very well. Now this is a pretty fresh add-on to be honest, it just dropped a couple of days ago. It's in the alpha stage at the moment, it is available for free on Gumroad, I'll leave all the links in the description down below. If you want to support the developer, I'll help speed up the process. More than welcome to give a donation, in fact I actively encourage it, as I always do. In terms of a Blender add-on, is it going to change the way you work? Probably not, but it's pretty cool, so let's quickly jump into Blender and we'll take a quick look. Now, in traditional fashion, we'll delete the default cube. And just as an example, it doesn't necessarily take the topology that you create. For example, if I add in a vertex, so if I go to Mesh and just drop in a single vert, I then go to the Properties panel on the right-hand side, you can see here, Grid Break, and I hit the plus sign, and you can see it automatically creates a grid. Easy! That's pretty much the add-on, that's me, I'm done, thanks very much. <laughs> now we'll go through some of the options. Now obviously you have things like in terms of the grid settings, you can change the size, so let's just bump this up to 3x3, three three. try and keep it kind of even to be honest, and we can change the amount of cells. Now be careful, the high values you go up. Now my computer is pretty beastly to be honest, and it kind of went into crunch mode just a little bit, where it's like, oh, do I want to do that? <laughs> but anyway, that's it, so what we can do is we can up the cuts for example, we can change the random seed, so if we want things just to move about ever so slightly. In terms of the distribution, obviously we can change the percentage of this. The one that I like is the height, so let's go to 0.5 for example, and we can change the random height to 0.3, and that'll give us just a little bit of randomness when it comes to the height, and you get this really nice object. Now, I can see this being used for sci-fi panels, things like this, and that really is the add-on. Now there's a few things we can do here, just to kind of tart it up to be honest. What we could do is we could probably add in something like a curve and we'll make it, we'll just make it a circle. We'll select the grid and we'll just add in something like a curve modifier, the curve object, we'll make it a circle. And you can see here, you start to get some really nice results. Now like I mentioned, this add-on is available for free. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.